So now let's see how we can work around with something called one point perspective grid. So if you want to create out perspective drawings, then all you need to do is go around onto the guides tab right here, and then you can press the plus button. And here you can see one point perspective is an option right here. So once you enable the one point perspective, you can see that there's the perspective line right here, but uh, in order to see the grid, you need to click on the sole reference line right here. So you can see tiny lines and if I were to click and drag, you can see that now if I were to draw, you can see that you can start drawing out straight lines on that particular perspective. So let's say for example, if I were to go around and draw something like a box right here, then you can see that I can go around, draw that out on the perspective right here. I can also rotate out the perspective line according to how I want as you can see right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and draw out let's say for example a box right here just like this you can see that okay this is not a proper drawing but let me just go around and rotate out the perspective um uh, grid reference point right here so let me just go around and draw out a box let me just go around there you go so you can see that this is the front part and if i were to go around something and let me just press Control z right here if i were to go around you can see that the perspective grid is taking into play you can see that as I draw, you, you, uh, everything is in perspective. What you can do is you can also change around the reference point so that the perspective grid right here changes to this reference point and you can rotate this around as well wherever you want and then keep it wherever you like right here and you can see that the perspective grid changes accordingly right over here. If you don't want to draw on uh, the grid line, simply go around right here and then uh, disable the align to grid option. Then you can draw freehand. You can go around and then enable the perspective grid once more. And you can also use the eraser tool right here to erase uh, it out in perspective once you click on this option right here, as you can see. And that is how you can work around with one point perspective grid inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.